Welcome back to the foggy happiness that is U-Boat, my friends. My name is Tubble. We have uh, quite a lot of tonnage we've sunk this time around. I think it's about time we start heading back home. We're almost done with our patrol. It looks like we've only got a couple more, I think a couple hundred more kilometers to go inside of our patrol. So I might just kind of hang around this northern quadrant for a bit and try to skip ahead until we're kind of done with the entire patrol. We'll go back home, we'll turn in, uh, we'll, we'll talk to headquarters basically, tell them about all the lovely things that we've destroyed and sunk. Oops, I'm actually going to avoid the rest of the convoy. How much, um, by the way, if I take a look, let me go back into my ship. Uh, good ship, sir. What do we have for torpedoes left? Yeah, we're completely out except for the stern, right? Didn't we have like one torpedo in the stern? So we don't really want to uh, meet anyone else right now. So we're going to try to be avoiding as many people as possible. I did check the boards, by the way. Um, in the last couple of days, there was a patch. Apparently, the uh, the audio, the what was it called, the um, uh, the hydrophone was actually doubled. It was work. Number one, it was working on the surface. Number two, the distance was doubled. So the uh, the uh, the hydrophone is back to where it should be, and it was not working correctly. Uh, by the way, on 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 the topic of hydrophones, here we have finished our research from our friend. I don't even know who this is. The one of our officers who's always on the shore at the start of the game. So we have the next level of hydrophone, which is kind of cool. I don't have a spare engineer, so I guess this is uh, GHG. So this is the next upgrade to the next radio, I guess. Radio, improved toilets, torpedo. I don't think we've got anyone else. We're going to have to use... The only person we have on, on shore right now is this radio man. So we're going to assign him to the next job. Or the next research for the GHG, uh, GHD2, which I think is a type of hydrophone. So he'll finish that one up. We're about to just about finish with our patrol. I'm just going to patrol the border. It's a bit of a lazy cheat, but, you know, we've done a pretty uh, pretty large amount of work for the BDU this time around. Okay, cool. We're all finished up. Let me get somebody on the radio. We're out of range. Uh, actually, the range is still... Ah, oh, the range really sucks <laughs> on the default radio. Let's start heading home. We're done with our patrol, pretty much. I'm going to swap out uh, Mr. Kohler here with our Captain Graf. Put him on the nav table, and we're still really fine on fuel, so I don't think we're going to have any issues whatsoever. We should be able to turn into Gibraltar. And there we go. Patrol complete. Let's send a, a, a report home. And that's a lot of money. Holy crap. That's a crap ton of currency we're getting right now. So we're at 200,000 currency. Uh, mission complete. Sink ship. Uh, recover the lost ship. Sink ship. Yeah, these are all the other random things we did. We uh, totally sunk 21,000 tons, which is obviously super not realistic to what U-boats were actually pulling in, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to come back home, and I'm really excited to actually take out uh, the next patrol, because normally I'm able to, with the builds in the game, we're normally only able to get one or two. So let's head home. We'll rearm once we're back. And uh, keep trying to do some upgrades. I doubt we'll get... Yeah, no, we're, no, we're not going to be anywhere near getting this research done. Maybe we'll try something different. Maybe a port strike or maybe moving ports. There's some missions that require you to relocate. For example, we could try to relocate to uh, La Spezia in uh, Italy. And we'd have to go through the port of Gibraltar, which might be a bit of a harrowing experience. So maybe we'll give that a shot as well. Okay, we're just about home. I want to try to schedule... Or not schedule, do a uh, navigation order here. Quite a few U-boats in dock, apparently. I thought the U-boats were, weren't they kept in, like, tunnels? In, um... I thought they were, like, put into covered tunnels to prevent anyone, any spy planes, or anything like that from seeing them. I don't really remember too much about it, but I, um... I read a couple, I think it was that, and, and also a couple of video games back in the day. Like, Commandos, I think, had you go in and do a, do a uh, port strike on a U-boat in dock. Alright, we're gonna try to not smash into the dock at full speed, but this is pretty much how you can come home. You're able to just kind of roll up next to the dock and uh, dock up, get resupplied, do whatever we need. There's really no turnaround time. It's like you can pretty much instantly go back out if you want to. Ooh, God. <laughs> Step one, don't actually crash into the dock, maybe. I mean, not that I don't think there's any actual physical damage at the moment. As far as I can tell, there's no collision issues. All right, this should bring us right into dock. There we go. Awesome. So, um... We have... Oops, I accidentally clicked this guy. Well, let's find We'll see if there's any new crew. But yeah, we finished our, our our supply... Or sorry, our mission. Still no officers here. I wouldn't mind changing ports in order to unlock some more officers. 
Uh, the Admiralty is deeply impressed by your last patrol, no doubt, except that's what you say to everyone, so, you know, I don't know how honored you feel. We do have one reputation now, so I could unlock something like, say, a specialized crew, which increases your limit to six on board instead of five. Free roam is kind of interesting. It lets you leave port without any assignment from headquarters. This would let us run two missions simultaneously. I love having more specialized crew, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that reputation upgrade. And if we look for the next mission, I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything about moving to a new port. From what I understand, different ports have different people available. Yep, sure enough, we do have the La Spezia port flotilla. Join that base, which is going to be really, really hard because they are all in um, the Mediterranean. So we're going to have to cut through uh, wherever Gibraltar and all of its friends are. God, where are those little... You know what I haven't spotted? The, um... The items... What was that? That was the... Little noisemaker? I never I never saw those yet. And that's going to be a bit of a problem. They're the things that would let you... Uh, the, um... Noisemaker, the sonar decoy. And I haven't spotted any more sonar decoys around. So I don't know if it's at a different kind of place or what. We're almost out of food. I'm just going to go ahead and sell the food we had left. And we'll go ahead and get resupplied. Let's bring some bacon. Bacon, some more fruit here. Excellent. We'll go ahead and just stock up on tier 2 torpedoes if we can. By the way, I think the uh, the new patch of the game opened up to 4, 8, 16, 20. Yeah, it opened it up to 20 slots for torpedoes at the base. I think before it was only maybe... Uh, was it this equivalent? Maybe just 12? So they've opened up how many torpedoes are kind of for sale. Let's go ahead and refuel as well. We really didn't use any of our deck... Or did we use some deck on? We used a little bit of our deck on, but there's still a bunch here in storage. Oh, sorry, Rever I'm looking at the wrong thing. This is what they've got for sale. Um, We can go ahead and just grab a stack of this. We'll transfer it all to the deck on itself. Otherwise, I don't know, we'll grab more coffee. I don't... I'm kind of a bum that we don't have those decoys. Those are going to be relatively helpful. I'm a little worried we're going to eat it on this one. Like, we're going to get we're gonna get depth charged. So I'm going to bring some med kits, just in case. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to be a super long trip. We're going to be mostly powering right through Gibraltar and going to the new La Spezia port. Let's look at this upgrade, though. We wound up getting uh, the accumulators we don't have. Did we ever research the uh, snorkel? No, we didn't. We didn't research snorkel because we were researching the radio. We could, we, uh, yeah, we could do the sonar, sorry, not the uh, radar, uh, or the radio, but it's the uh, hydrophone system. So we can upgrade to the KDB hydrophone. It's a set of six hydrophones that can be right, rotated around one axis, and perfect triangulation. So it's going to just be a little bit more accurate from what I understand. Six hydrophones that can be rotated. 24 mounted on one side of the U-boat's U -boat's bow. Okay. So no, not as many dead zones, or, or no dead zones from what I'm understanding. All right. So we have that upgrade in place. I don't think it really did anything visually. What else do we need to grab then? I mean, I'd love to grab another crew member. The problem is I don't think we have anyone else that we could bring in. There's no more officers on board. Let me reset him by having him get out, because he's going to load up the torpedo bays here, or torpedo uh, tubes. So shoot, we don't have a bit. We don't have any officer. There's one officer doing the mission right now. I don't even think I can cancel the mission, to be honest, though. So I couldn't grab him and bring him along with us. That's fine. We'll go ahead and just take off without him. As far as I know, we don't really need too much else. I will wait here until we finish loading the torpedoes up. That way we can have a nice full complement of torpedoes in the event that everything goes to hell. I'm going to have everyone go down for sleeping because there's nothing to do right now while we're docked. So we'll be back here after we re uh, rearm completely and we're ready to head back out. All right, we bought up all the torpedoes now at base. There's no more torpedoes at this particular port. So we're going to set sail. Uh, we have our mission. We've got our crew. We really didn't have to change too much about the crew. And we have no more officers to get. So we're pretty much set to go. I think I'm going to go ahead and just go directly to Gibraltar. And of course, if we are able to intercept a convoy, I will definitely try to do my best to, you know, take out something because why not? Uh, we'll try to grab a convoy if we can. But mostly we're going to be focused on, especially once we get closer to Gibraltar, we're going to have to be as stealthy as possible. So this is going to be one of the challenges. I wish I, I almost wish I had gotten the level up in accumulators because that will let you have a much longer lasting battery. Now that I understand that you can pretty much have a constant 
supply of oxygen by running the um, uh, by running the oxygen generator. What was that called? It wasn't just the uh, the thing over here, the ventilation system. Yeah, you can run the ventilator, so you're always pretty much able to have a full supply of oxygen. By the way, I'm going to give Leo a different order. I'm going to give him the quartermaster role, and what he's going to start doing is, I believe, he's going to start delivering ammunition up to. Yep, sure enough, he's going to start delivering ammunition up to the deck gun. Because remember, we, we, we did kind of go through quite a bit of ammunition. So he'll be doing that for a while. Anything else we need to have someone doing? Let's go ahead and do Felix on the diesels. Adam Newman, you can go on the radio. I'm sure they'll give us a mission at some point. Not so much this time, huh? That's a nice change. Uh, one of you guys go on to the navigator's table, please. And we'll give you the appropriate crew members as well. So that you are reducing the fuel load. Not that it, it matters, like we're not going to run out or anything. But at least we'll have more fuel for the next campaign. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer to Gibraltar. And what I want to do is go probably down into the hull awash or deck awash distance or uh, depth rather. Because right now, if any planes come in, they're going to probably get us before we're able to dive. Now, we could have somebody on the deck gun. There is a flak cannon here. And we could try to have someone be aggressive about that. I haven't had much luck with the AI, but I have shot down... A couple of planes myself, so I know it's possible. Damn, we use all of our... Did we use every single one? Let me try to grab... Let me slow down the time compression. Let me grab one of you lads. Please, good sir. I need to go, I think, to one of the inventory screens to be able to see this guy's inventory. None of you guys have... How can I... Can I go to their inventory like this? This would be what they've got in their hand, right? I would be able to actually see something if they had it. I don't think anyone has those decoys. I, I'm pretty sure we're all out of all those decoys. As far as I can tell, yeah, there's no there's no kind of an icon here telling us what they've got in their hands. So I'm pretty sure we used all three decoys in the first few episodes in order to try to escape some of the fleet. So we're going to be kind of cruising. Are we going like nothing? No, we're going okay. We're, we're a little bit slower than we were. That's all right. Let's give him one more person. I'm going to go ahead and take somebody off. Um, we don't quite need everybody on navigation. This is a pretty small, narrow area. Put you on the navigator's table. Let's get Adam Newman on the hydrophone, the brand new, better hydrophone, apparently. See if that gives us any contacts. The big problem is going to be... Um, I, I honestly think the big problem is going to be aircraft. Now, the game is early enough in early development where the AI doesn't really do a lot of things that make a ton of sense. So, you'll see something like a plane might spot you, but instead of, you know, everyone redeploying to your area to do a really hardcore intense search, as far as I can tell, there's been no response, or it's very easily evaded. So it's not like the worst thing in the world. God, we're not hearing anything. Are we... Let's go ahead and... Let's go out completely down. Uh, maybe down to periscope depth. I want to see if the hydrophone is working at all. Oh, God. What the hell? <laughs> How do we miss these guys? This was picked up. Is it foggy out or is it dark? Oh, okay, it's nighttime again. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to... We don't have any sight, really, so that's fine. Let's assign this to Newman to see if he can figure out how big of a freighter this is. Empire Tower with 4,000 tons. Um, Empire Bell with 3,000. That's fine. This is what you're going to start seeing here. This is what the hydrophone is really useful for. So we're able to start hearing enemy ships really, really far away. Uh, let's see, discipline's still really high. I do want to see if maybe we need to mix the food again, because we did, remember, we did get new food. Yeah, we did. So let's mix things up a bit. We'll add in some uh, preserved pork and some vegetables, or sorry, some fruits. And that way we can maybe get that, what was the thing called, the, uh, the buff there? That is mixed food. I think they have to actually eat first, and I don't know if they'll eat on Red Alert. So I have no idea. I don't really know if we need all five or all any more extra crew on the engines. So both of these guys can do kind of whatever they want at the moment. I do want to keep Adam on the hydrophone. Hilbert, you know what? Why don't we put one of you guys on the attack periscope and we'll take you off the navigator station for the moment. And let's go ahead and change the lighting to red. That way the observation folks get a bit more higher quality vision. There we go. Much better. We're actually able to see people now at night. All right, we're going to keep powering through. We're not going to go back for this convoy. We're just going to pow power on through. We we're probably going to have to dive at some point. 
really deep. And I'm, I'm, you know, that's going to be the challenge is make sure that we are managing and balancing our oxygen with our electric charge. So as soon as we're past these guys, I'm going to surface again and go ahead and rebuild our, uh, our oxygen as well as our battery charge. So we're just south of Gibraltar, pretty much, and there, it looks like there's like a vertical line of ships that are patrolling the, the Gibraltar Strait. So I think we can kind of split the gap here. All, all of the uh, the previous hydrophone recordings are kind of going away because our guy, we're kind of on the surface right now, so we're not really hearing any hydrophone sounds. But honestly, I'm okay with that. We do have our navigator, or sorry, the captain is up on the periscope, so he's able to see what's going on. I am kind of rotating my engine dudes around just a wee bit. Morale is pretty good because we got the very dishes buff right now, so that's going to give us way more positives than any negatives could give you. Unless something like horrible is happening, people are dying or what have you. So I think I'm going to get... Oh, God. All right, so we got our first Corvette on visual. It is thankfully dark out, so we're gonna, we are hull down. So we're only like 30% visible. We're going to go down to periscope depth. I will go ahead and put Newman on to the hydrophone. We're going to slow down a bit to standard or maybe a head. What is this? Half, probably. Instead of one third. Now we're going to start to... Ooh, crap. We've got a couple of Corvettes. Hopefully it's just two. Yeah, it's just going to be two. There's three. Four. Oh, God. <laughs> God, they're all around us. Let's see if we can't split the difference here. We're going to change course. Go between them all. It is... Okay, so it's 10 o'clock at night, so it's going to be dark for quite a long time to come. So I'm not worried about, as much about them visually seeing us. I am worried about them hearing us, though. So, preemptively, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things. Number one, we're going to leave your position. We're really not as worried about visuals right now as we are oxygen and our sound. So I'm going to set the crew to silent running. Were you, like, soaking water in here? What the hell? Turn on the blue light. Okay. Oh, we probably got a lot of water from running the um, hull awash thing. I bet that gives you super, uh, super soaked. Let's grab one of the engineers, too. I'm going to have the engineer change the steering to manual instead of the automated steering. That should help do a little bit quieter. So let's go to manual. Oh, wait, what the hell? Were we on? What are we on right now? What were we on? Okay, we're fine. Only the electric engines are being heard right now. Oh, wow, have I had the gyro compass off this entire time? Whoops. Okay, so they're pretty set there. We're really, really quiet. We're running really slow. So I think we're going to be able to stink through these guys, but it's going to be a little bit of time. Mostly just a slow process. They're booking it. Holy crap. Let me uh, use him to estimate what their their uh, speed is. 10 kilometers an hour, that's it? It feels like they're going like 30 or so. There's a big destroyer out here. There are carriers in the game, apparently. I'd love to see a carrier fleet. I'd love to take a shot at a carrier. Although I'm assuming that we get our butts handed to us from uh, from planes. But if we're playing it smart and we're actually approaching, you know, from underneath, I think we'd be okay. Okay, we're through that one group. The hydrophone is pushing out all the way here. I'm going to go back. I think it's still really, really late. I think I'm going to give them a bit more room and I'm going to go back to deck awash a bit. Because I like refilling our oxygen whenever we're able to do that. Captain is super tired, so you go to sleep. You get on the attack periscope. Take you off crew. You're still on the hydrophone. I mean, there's not... And again, this is why I love having two crew members. There's nothing we could really do about Newman. We kind of need him. We could just switch him off and then have somebody else on the hydrophone. We are we are back above ground, though, so or we're above sea level. So he's not going to be able to use the hydrophone until we completely submerge. So we're just going to roll on the surface here. I'll speed things up again. We'll switch. We are on diesel, so we're going to be going much faster. So we're going to try to split the difference between where all the convoys are. God, group of one to three, group of one. As soon as we get through this line, we'll be fine. I don't think we're going to have much problem unless we... Oh God, like this. <laughs> they come up on us out of nowhere. Still super dark out, though. I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and go all the way down to Periscope. Go back down to ahead one-third or uh, half. Ooh, we're 20% detected right now. 
I don't know if that's the periscope or not. Let's bring the periscope in and we'll see if that's the difference or not. I bet it's the periscope because we're really running quiet. Wow, seriously? 22% with barely anything running. Let's go ahead and sink a bit down. The depth under our keel, if you want to be accurate about it, let's have him leave position. Let's actually stop completely. Let's go to a dead stop. We're going to sink down about 50 meters. Okay. I'm going to go check the echo sounder thing. We can't because the compartment is flooded. It's kind of awkward. I mean, it's not really flooded. You can't actually do anything, it feels like, if there is water inside of the command center. Ugh, and I can't run the damn pumps either because we're going to make a lot of noise. How are we? Wow, we're just that detective because I think they're active right now. That's what it sounds like. Let's put somebody on the hydrophone to get a good feel for where this guy's at. You don't need to be on the electrics anymore. You can go to sleep. Pretty much everyone can go to sleep at this point. There's not anything going on other than, you know, hiding for our lives here. All right, let's, uh, we're down to about 50. I can cheat and use the map and know that this area of sea has a really deep bottom, right, right in through the strait itself. As you come to the shore, of course, the, uh, the depth changes quite a bit. We might have a little trouble with this guy. Let's try to go down much, much deeper. Maybe down to 100 and 120 meters. It's, it's stuck on 22%. So I'm guessing it's just because we're detectable by sonar. I was hoping by going deeper, we'd, we'd improve the percentage. Honestly, if he can't, if it's not matter, if it doesn't matter whether we're, you know, going faster or slower, let's just go ahead and accelerate. We're back down to 0%, maybe because we passed him or what, but that's good. I'm happy with that. He was a little bit too close. We'll go ahead and come back up to a more shallow depth here. I don't want to stay this low because the crew normally does not like it. Okay, good enough for me. Let's go back to periscope depth. He shouldn't be able to hear behind him with his propeller going the way it is. So we should be through this one. More ships to our uh, our northeast, so to speak, our right, our starboard side. It's a bit intense. I think as long as you're playing it relatively cool, you should be okay. I would I kind of want to go... going to be a problem right here. I would rather go on the surface to get some more oxygen, but we're okay. We're fine, we're fine. Let's go ahead and get somebody on... Damn, I can't use the navigator, uh, the navigation table right now <laughs> because the room is flooded and I can't really unflood it by running the pumps. Okay, we're like half tank right now and I don't really want to run the compressor. I kind of would rather just try to surface here. So it's still really pitch black. So I'm hoping... Hoping on hope that we don't breach right into the middle of a group of enemies. Yeah, it's going to be super dark. Let's go ahead and put somebody on the attack periscope for get to get sight. Oh, you're on the radio. You don't need to be on the radio. Let's go and have you on the attack periscope. The radio man's actually trying to get some sleep, so now that we're surfaced-ish, he should be able to get a little bit of rest. Are you on the attack periscope? You just can't see. Oh, I actually gave the order for the periscope to be lowered. There we go. So at least no one's in direct range of us. We are refilling our tanks. Uh, the crew is getting their morale back because they're able to take a quick break to eat. And our electrics are going to be fully charged in like two minutes. So much better. We're able to kind of find a pocket where there's no enemies. This guy's kind of coming northwest or, um, sorry, probably at a, at a westerly northwest course. So he might come into our vision. Okay, another group that kind of surprised us. Let's go back down into periscope depth completely. We'll put Newman back on the hydrophone. Uh, quite a few ships here. Why don't we just try to go... Let's just try to go straight on... Oh, God, there's so many. <laughs> there are so many right now. Let's go down to about 50 meters. Let's take you off the attack periscope. What I'm actually nervous about now is that we're going to lose our position in the world because we haven't had anyone on navigation. So that's my big concern at the moment. Let's take you off engines because we're going to eventually probably just have them completely get pulled off or um, have the engines go down to nothing because they're going to be too loud. So far, we've got a 0% detection. Again, we are only on... Interesting, the periscope stays up even when no one's on it, huh? 
This is actually, wait a minute, this is attack periscope four, but we're not, we're 50 meters. I'm maybe, okay, maybe the, the visibility thing is not accurate right now because, because of patches. They're right freaking above us, so I hope this is somewhat accurate and we don't got start getting depth charge out of nowhere. <laughs> so we're pretty much underneath one of their Corvettes. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be able to split the difference here. I don't think the vis either the de detection is off or this meter, this kind of right here, which gives us information, is off. Now, I have done a couple of patches. Unfortunately, there's no way to avoid patching the game completely. So I have had some of the nightly builds and stuff like that come up. Um, they have been patching quite a few problems, so that's been mostly good things, right? We haven't had and we haven't seen too many major issues come up, knock on wood. And what we might have to do because of the frequency of patching, I might just go ahead and go to Spezia. Maybe get one more mission to do some attacks on. Maybe we can attack the port of Gibraltar or something like that. And uh, maybe then we'll call it quits on this this little patrol. Just a small campaign again. And it's, I feel like until the game comes out with more, a little bit more in terms of stability, that might be what we're limited to just because of the frequency of the updates, which isn't a bad thing per se. It's just that it makes it hard to do a continuous run without new bugs cropping up. All right, both of you guys are sleeping. You don't need your crew friends. Uh, you're almost exhausted, but we're, we're going to try to get out of this zone. Actually, I tell you what, go on to the electrics. We will use you for flank speed. I don't think we're in range anymore of being detected, so we're going to try to get out of here. We're pretty much uh, past the main line of ships here from Gibraltar. So I feel pretty happy. It's 1.30 in the morning. I think we can actually surface without having too many issues. Let's go ahead and try to surface here. Okay. That was fine. Now, the only thing at this point is planes coming from RAF Gibraltar, but I think we should be clear to push to the east. So, I'm going to go ahead and skip out of here. If anything else interesting happens, I'll be back with you, but otherwise, we'll see you at our new port in La Spezia. Well, we made it without too many more issues. We're... Uh, Pretty much it was clear after Gibraltar, so we're almost at La Spezia. I'm going to come up and dock and see what other kinds of missions there are. Maybe we'll take one or two more patrols, and I do like kind of progressing through the research tree. And it would be nice to see some different options there, and I know they're going to flush out the research tree later on. I would love to see also different types of U-boats, maybe bigger U-boats down the road. And, I, and again, the game is early access. I know there's lots of things to be changed, so I'm just kind of excited to see what's going to come up of it. But well, yeah, we'll dock at Spezia and uh, take a look at what's left for missions. The last part of our mission is to report to an officer, and I have no idea who we're supposed to report to. So I'm just going to wander off the ship for a bit. And, uh, oh, hey guys, you guys doing well? Nope, oh, pardon me, pardon me. All right, I'm going to report into uh, to uh, Wolfgang Mayer. No, I don't really need more crew. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe an officer would be nice, but... um. Who am I supposed to? Oh yay! Let's grab uh, let's grab one of these officers here. These leaders, Dieter Fischer. Dieter, he's a oh, who's the one that's a playboy? Yeah, we'll take the playboy. There we go. Real healthy uh, crew. Where the hell? Oh, there he is, right there. Glad, <laughs> glad there's no icon whatsoever. Welcome to your new flotilla. How can I help you, my friend? Oh, nice. Uh, we completed a mission. Forty thousand reward. And I guess we'd get more orders from the Admiralty, right? Pretty much. Strangehein. I'm trying to pronounce it, but I'm having trouble. Espionage on the port of Alexandria might be kind of cool. Transport our spy unharmed to coordinates near the port of Alexandria. You may get additional orders at this point to help the spy with carrying out his mission. That sounds like a great thing to do for next episode. We'll accept that mission right now. Did we earn any new favors? Not quite. We probably really didn't do a whole lot that mission other than just go to our new port. So that was pretty much it. Awesome. We'll we'll save the, uh, the resupply and the crew stuff for next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me for more U-Boat. Until next time, take care.